Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Professional Certificate. I think it's an interesting course series, especially for those who want to make a career in cloud computing. Currently, it has over 30,000 students enrolled and a general score of 4.3 out of 5. But is it worth your attention? My name is Daniel, and today I want to talk about the Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Professional Certificate on Coursera. So, things I'm going to cover in this review are Course Overview, Structure and Content, Pricing and Certification, Career Opportunity, and I will let you know what I personally think about this course series. Also, guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts. And now, let's start! Overview. Alright, so what is this course series about? Well, folks, this professional certification program is made for data engineers and developers. Those who want to show off their skills in creating and running data solutions using Microsoft Azure. It's also great for anyone getting ready for the exam DP203 – Data Engineering on Microsoft Azure Beta. Guys, all 10 courses in this program are all about getting you ready for the exam. Each course focuses on teaching you the exact concepts and skills that the exam will test you on. So, it's basically a step-by-step -step guide to ace that certification. This professional certificate is specifically designed to make you a pro at creating and setting up data solutions using Microsoft Azure Data Services. You will dive into how to bring together, change and organize data from different systems, whether they are structured or not. This gets you data ready for building awesome analytic solutions with Microsoft Azure Services. Folks, I have to say this is a big certification program, and it will take you about a year to complete. To be more specific, around 50 weeks. That's why get ready for the long road. Time, 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 time. Time. For each week of these 50 weeks, you will have about 1 to 2 hours of work to do. So, as you see, it's not too bad. And it gives you enough time to really dive into the material without feeling like it's too much. And honestly, if you spend more time learning, you can finish this course series much sooner. Prerequisites Now, another thing to keep in mind here is this certification program isn't designed for beginners. If you are thinking about going for this certification, here is what you will need. First off, you should have about 1-2 to two years of professional development experience under your belt. Plus, you will need some hands-on experience with Microsoft Azure. It's also important to know how to program in a language that Azure supports. It's a plus if you are familiar with .NET and C Sharp. You will need to be pretty good with Azure SDKs or Software Development Kits, Azure PowerShell and Azure CLI or Command Line Interface. You should also know your way around data storage options, data connections, APIs, app authentication and authorization, compute and container deployment, debugging, performance tuning and monitoring. And I know, guys, it's a solid list. But if you are already working in this field, you might have a head start on some of these skills. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. Alright, so like I said, there are 10 courses in this certification program. They take from 5 to 21 hours to complete. Each course is broken down into smaller modules. And here are these courses. Microsoft Azure for Data Engineering. Data Storage in Microsoft Azure. Data Integration with Microsoft Azure Data Factory. Introduction to Microsoft Azure Synapse Analytics. Data Warehousing with Microsoft Azure Synapse Analytics. Data Engineering with MS Azure Synapse Apache Spark Pools. Operational Analytics with Microsoft Azure Synapse Analytics, Microsoft Azure Data Bricks for Data Engineering, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, and Data Streaming Solution. And finally, prepare for DP203 Data Engineering on Microsoft Azure Exam. And by the way, guys, don't think it's just theory. These courses get very practical. In this program, you won't just be sitting back and watching. You will be diving into interactive exercises to really put what you are learning into action. And here is the cool part. 
You will be using Microsoft Learn Sandbox. And this sandbox is basically a free playground where you can explore Microsoft Azure. You will get to try out all the sorts of live Azure resources and services. Folks, let me give you an example. When you're learning how to integrate, transform and organize data, you will actually be working in a special Azure environment called the Sandbox. You may also dive right into the Azure portals itself. What's great about this setup is that you will be using real technology. But it's all in a safe and controlled environment. This means you can practice what you are learning at your own speed. Also, guys, keep in mind that to get started you will need a Microsoft account. But if you don't have one yet, no worries. You can easily create one for free. Now let's talk a bit more about the Learn Sandbox. This awesome feature gives you a free access to a cloud subscription for a set amount of time. And you don't even need a credit card. This means you can safely explore, create and manage resources without stressing about costs or messing up anything important. Pricing and certification Alright, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So, when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And guys, I totally understand, months of subscription sounds like a lot. But based on some feedback, I have seen some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Career opportunities So, as I am sure many of you wondering, does this program help you find a job? Well, guys, I can say that potentially it does. Because this course teaches you some solid skills. And that kind of knowledge can definitely boost your chances of finding a better paying job. On the other hand, it's not designed to prepare you for a job search. It's made to teach you some skills to add to your existing skill set. That's why, guys, it's completely up to you if you want to use it as a stepping stone in your career or just a way to extend your knowledge. In any case, it's likely you will need to take some other courses or learning programs. Moreover, according my experience, some interview preparation will be necessary too, especially if landing a high-paying position is your goal. Is Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Professional Certificate worth it? Alright, guys, and finally, let's answer the important question. Is it worth spending your time and money on this certification program? Well, folks, my honest answer is, if you do plan to pass the Azure Data Engineering Associate DP203 exam, this course series will definitely be a great choice. It's a focused program designed for data engineers and developers who want to improve their skills and knowledge in Azure data solutions. With 10 courses tailored for exam DP203 preparation, you get lots of hands-on exercises using Azure Sandbox and Portal. Besides, you get access to the Microsoft Learn Sandbox at no cost, and that offers a safe environment for practical application. This comprehensive and practical approach makes it a great choice for those who want to take their careers in Azure Data Engineering to the next level. Alright, my friends, and it's all about the Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Professional Certificate on Coursera. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and till next time!